Hello, my people. Thank you for joining me today. My best friend of going on 10 years is getting married at the end of this month, the end of June. We are getting down to the wire with the planning and the prepping and everything going on. We had her bridal shower just this past weekend, which I will probably show you some snippets of because honestly, the decoration was on point and the theming. She had some great ideas. So I thought I would share that with you for anyone that's, you know, maybe planning a bridal shower coming up anytime soon. And also it's her bachelorette this weekend. There's a bunch of us ladies heading out to Niagara Falls this weekend, which we will no doubt get into lots of silly and fun antics. I can't believe it's here. Like it's honestly just been, like the time has gone by so fast. I um, remember when she was asked, she asked me to be her bridesmaid, which was many, many months ago now. And uh, I can't believe, you know, almost a year has gone by and we are almost like we are in June now. It's June, like we are down to the crunch, like five weeks to go to the wedding. And yeah, I'm just super excited for her. Again, like I said, we've been friends for uh, going on 10 years now. Her fiance is actually um, Alex's uh, best friend. So naturally when, you know, I started dating Alex, I was introduced to uh, her through Alex and we just hit it off. We became really, really good friends. And she's honestly like a sister from another mister for me. We have so much in common and, you know, we're each other's, you know, ride or die. We're always there for each other. We love to have a good time and we just get along so, so well. So starting with the bridal shower, let me show you everything that we got up to, what we decorated, how we decorated, that sort of thing, her theming, and maybe it'll give you some ideas. So let me bring you to the bridal shower now and show you everything and uh, how it all turned out. At the entrance was this cute little sign that was handmade by the bride. In a basket were little baggies with chocolates for guests to take home. In the backyard, we set up this archway. The flowers were glued onto fishing line and we added some greenery, tulle, and a white curtain behind it to make everything stand out. This is where the bride would sit for when we did the games and to take some pictures. This was another amazing idea. We got some flowers and put them into ice molds and popped them into the freezer overnight. The ice cubes were added to a big bucket where we put sparkling wine for the bubbly bar. Next was the food table setup. More flowers were hung up behind, we added some greenery, and a pink table runner on top. These game cards were ordered off Etsy. I'll leave them linked down below. The bride filled out the answers beforehand and then each guest got a card to fill out. Moving on to the goodie bags now for the bachelorette. So, I have been so excited to put these together. So outside of the bridesmaids, so there's three bridesmaids plus, plus the bride. Outside of that, there's going to be six other ladies joining um, in the bachelorette. So it's a, you know, about there's about 10 of us. So I thought it'd be nice to put together some little goodie bags. It was just kind of a way of showing our appreciation for everyone coming and, you know, showing their love for their for the bride. I decided I really wanted to put these goodie bags together. It's kind of almost like, you know, a little, tr little trinkets to put together to say thank you for coming and joining in the celebration. You know, the send off before she becomes a married woman. I went out and I tried to put together these goodie bags basically on a budget. I didn't want to spend more than like 30 to $40 total on everything. And that can be, you know, kind of hard to do when you have to buy for, you know, upwards of 10 to 14 people, sometimes 15 people, depending on how many people are coming to the bachelorette, right? So it can add up pretty fast. My challenge to myself was to put these goodie bags together as cheaply as possible. And most things I was able to acquire at the dollar store. So like Dollarama or Dollar Tree, I'm sure you can find these at your local stores. A couple other things I also found at Winners, Winners or Marshalls or, you know, HomeSense. A lot of them will have that sort of thing. Before I get into the goodie bags, I just want to give a sort of rundown of our plans for the Bachelorette the, um, this coming weekend. So right now, the plan is we've rented out an Airbnb for the night uh, in Niagara Falls. So we're going to be spending the night there. Uh, we're all going to meet there and then we have a winery tour booked. 
And uh, so it's a private winery tour just for us ladies. And we're gonna go to a few wineries around the Niagara area. And then after the tour, we're going to be going out for dinner and it has a nice view of the falls. So I'm hoping that that turns out that we're like, you know, by the window so we can see the falls, that would be amazing. And then after dinner, we plan to come back to the Airbnb and have sort of like a 13 going on 30 sort of pajama party sort of situation because let's be honest, all of us are kind of more in our late 20s, early 30s, getting into our mid to late 30s. So we can't go too, too wild, you know, we're all kind of, kind of getting old, but I mean, also, I'm not gonna lie, I can still be a party hard kind of girl if I need to be. Just give me some caffeine or some alcohol and I'm good to go. And I'm intending to, again, set up my my party lights and I have a couple, uh, I have some other stuff that I'm gonna be bringing along with me to set up like this dance floor. But anyway, so let me get into all the goodie bags. Starting with the bags themselves. So I scoured Dollarama and I found these. They came in a two pack, so it was two for $1.75, which was perfect. I also had found other bags and I should have got them when I saw it. Let me tell you, if you see something at Dollarama, make sure you buy it when you see it because sometimes they're not at every Dollarama store. So I had seen some with um, bottles, like bottles of champagne on it and they were pink and they were would have been very on theme, but I didn't get them and I'm like, oh, I'll get them at another Dollarama. Anyways, I didn't end up seeing them again. So I just went with these, but I think they're still cute. I, I think they'll still work and I thought they were really pretty so they should fit everything that I've got here. Everyone is going to get one of these cute wine glasses. I found this on clearance at Party City. They were just over a dollar each and on them it says wine a little or wine a lot. I thought it was very on point and on theme with what we would be doing. Also, everyone is going to be getting a bottle of sparkling wine. We were able to find some cute, uh, these ones come in a cute pink color, pink color bottle. And then this is just a regular um, sparkling wine. This is rosé, I guess. Rosé sparkling wine, and this is just the regular sparkling, sparkling wine. So all the girls are going to get a bottle of this in each bag. Then some little like fun little snacks. Uh, I mean, all girls like chocolate, right? So I picked up these chocolate bars and it says for fun on them. They were, I think like two or four for a dollar. It was like some crazy deal. Uh, at, at the dollar store again. So everyone's going to get this and they can maybe munch on it on the tour. I might also throw in maybe some granola bars or something. And of course you can't go without a ring pop at a bachelorette. It's very on point with the wedding theme. So I picked up, there's how many in here? So there's three per pack uh, in here. So I picked up three of these. So everyone will have one of those I'm thinking they could either throw it on while they're on the tour or, you know, we could put them on once we get back to the Airbnb. Since we'll be on a tour and kind of like on the go, that sort of thing, girls may want to, you know, throw their hair up. I picked up a pack of uh, scrunchies. This was 12 in a pack and these were, I think these were $5 for 12. So one scrunchie each and we'll still have some left over. So that's really awesome. I picked up some face masks from Winners. These were seven, seven masks for just over $9. They're all individually wrapped, so I can just slip one of these into each bag. And then in the morning, if girls wanna do like a little face mask uh, therapy sort of situation, we can do that, or they can take it home with them and do it later. Some more trinkets that, oops. <laughs> Some more trinkets that the girls could take home with them is some nail polish. Each were $3 and I was really trying again to find things that came in packs so I didn't have to buy multiples of everything at you know a dollar or dollar fifty or whatnot. So this worked out perfectly and will be nice another nice thing for the girls to take home. Little bags of tissues. These will be perfect if the girls want to put it in their purse, you know, if like if people are like me and have allergies, these will be always handy to have. And if anyone is getting a little emotional, you know, it's it's a fun time, it's a happy time, but there will be happy tears shed potentially. So it's always nice to have a little pack of tissues on hand. I picked up these nice hand creams. They all came in some really nice scents. These are like pink peony, French vanilla, English lavender. And then these ones come in like coconut kiwi, pink citrus, raspberry shea and some more different ones here as well. So these were all, these were 350 each. 
And again, um, I picked up enough for basically all of us so everyone can have some hand cream. Can't go to a bachelorette without some fun fake tattoos. So these were all, you know, bachelorette themed, bride to be, I do, that sort of thing. So I figure I can just cut these up individually and put them all into the bags. So I picked up those as well. And like I said, we're going to be having a little like dance party at the nighttime. So I picked up a bunch of glow sticks that I will, you know, put into everyone's bag as well so they can pop them on when we do our little dance party. I love anything that glows in the dark, honestly. So these are these are key for me. I know they're kind of like not great for like plastic and stuff, but picked up glow stuff and I know the bride will really love those. For decorations, we're not going all out because again, it's at the Airbnb and our time is rather limited at the Airbnb. Like we're gonna be out on the tour and then we're gonna go out for dinner and then we're only gonna be there in the evening. So we're not gonna go too, too extravagant on decorations, but you can't have an event without balloons, right? Balloons are important. So I picked up these, these were on clearance at Party City. I think they were like $3, they were, they were really cheap. These are, there are 15 balloons in here and I thought they were, you know, on point, good colors, that sort of thing. And I got this yay balloon because the bride, she's always saying, we're always saying to each other, yay. So uh, I thought this was very on point. Now I'm going to unwrap the packages and whatnot and take everything out on an individual basis and then put them each in their bag. Then I will show you how they look once they are all finished. To the bags. I actually am very happy with this size because it ended up filling them all up really, really well with what I got. So they're nice and full. I didn't end up putting the tattoos in because when I took them out of the packaging, the little paper that covers the actual tattoo wasn't really staying on very well. So I was worried that, that the tattoos would get all rubbed off. So I'll just give it to the girls once we get there and that should be fine. That's how they turned out and I am quite happy. That is all of what I got for the goodie bags. Again, it was a budget friendly goodie bags, kind of more so like little loot bags to give to the girls that are coming. I'm very much excited for this bachelorette weekend coming up. I can't wait to have so much fun with all the girls. These goodie bags are my way of showing basically my appreciation and how I'm feeling honored and thankful for being a part of the whole celebration so and i hope all the girls will like it when they receive it make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't done so already and then you won't miss out on any of the other fun stuff that i get up to like making goodie bags and disney content and all that other fun stuff so until next time i will see you all in the next video bye everyone